Okay, so my hair's all prepped. So I'm going to do a big bouncy blow dry today. Get loads. I want I want loads of volume today. Uh, big bouncy blow dry using the round brush. Starting from the crown, coming forward and then all through the rest. High speed and medium heat. And then I'll finish on the standard 30ml barrel. So even with my length hair, I still use the standard, probably more than the long, unless I'm using the 20. Um, they're a much tighter curl. So I just want a big bouncy blow dry today. So I'm going to start with the crown. I always start at the top. And then if for any reason you run out of time or your arms ache or you can't be bothered, then the top will be nice and smooth. And then you can just go in with the barrels underneath instead of using the round brush. That equally gives... A really nice look so the key with the round brush is to really make sure that you get the hair dry that'll be how you get your bounce so you want your section to be about the width of the brush so that you don't lose any off the ends and just really pull it through right at the root. This is where you'll get your lift. So it's essential to get the lift. The thing with the round brush is you have to do the work. With the barrels, they grab the hair. With the round brush, you have to feed it onto the brush. So just really smooth it through. If you get frizzy roots, just go both sides with the round brush. And then just keep doing that until you get that really smooth. Like I said, I'm only using medium heat. Because otherwise, I find my hair gets too hot to hold. So I just find the medium is enough. I just want to show you how to get those ends in. So just wrap them right under and then just roll it down and just keep doing that just keep on releasing it so that really gets the air through it if you find your arms ache too much just bring it round to the side just getting those ends right in it's really important to get the ends wrapped in around the brush otherwise you'll get buckling and then they'll just look really dry but it's essential to make sure it's all fully dry otherwise your hair will just flop and then it will just freeze again. Just feed those fluffy bits over the brush. Um, once I've done that, I'm just going to release it and I'm just going to twiddle that back out of the way. You can see that lift I've got in the crown. So that's partially the root spray and the round brush giving it that real lift. And again, just coming in on the next section. Keeping it nice and narrow, just the width of the brush. through on both sides. This is where you're activating the dream coat. You can see the shine starting to develop on it. A lot of people that use dream coat, the first couple of times they feel like they're not noticing any difference, but you must plaster the hair in it. You have to coat every section of the hair, but then you don't need to use it on every wash. So you probably only need to use it on every other. So although it seems quite an expensive outlay because you're using so much, you don't need to use it on every wash. It's got a memory in it, so that's why you don't need to use it every time. Although I do because I love it. Really work those roots through. Just wrap it down. This is where you're going to create all your nice banks and where you're going to get all the lovely smooth, smooth finish.
and again just squiggle that out of the way and just push it back and then I'm going to do my fringe. Really pulling that down nice and sleek. And again, just wrap those ends in. And then just drop all the hair you've just done over to the other side and then we're going to start up here now trimming that section so I'm going to do exactly the same all the way coming down these sides quite good to mix your products up. Try not to get stuck in using the same products every day. It's good to switch them around a bit. really smoothing that through. Again, if you've got frizzy roots, just go on both sides of it. By using your other hand to feed it on, that's what helps keep the control. Some people say their hair just blows everywhere, but if you use the other hand to feed it on, that will really help. You can see you can get quite a nice curl with the round brush. from the back. A lot of people struggle to do the back of their hair. Just bring it round to the side. Again, just really pulling those roots through. Get those ends right in and then wrap it down. makes the hair look in such nice condition if you can really get those ends nice and smooth. Again, this is the hair coming right from the back of my head. See if I can show you it from the back. That's coming right down from the back of my head there. I'm just going to bring the hair I've already done now back over the top and just let that sit on that side while we do the other side. Make sure you've got all that on that side. So just leave that 
to settle and then I'm going to start on this side. So again, I'm bringing the hair from the back of my head. It's coming from the back of my head. So. Again, use your other hand to feed the hair round. That's the easiest way to do it. And then just wrap it down. Don't worry too much if you miss any little bits because if you go over them with the barrels afterwards you can always pick, pick up on them then. Use your other hand again just to feed those ends in. You can equally do this with your hair all coming under. So if you wanted it to come under, you just bring your brush up that way and just bring it down like that and curl it under. So depends which way you want your hair to curl. I tend to take mine back, but it works both ways. Then just use your other hand just to feed those ends in. You'll know when the ends are ready to go in because they will have already started to curl slightly around the, the brush. Really make sure you get the nape of your neck dry as well because that will just freeze up otherwise you get your brush right underneath. You can see I'm just pulling it really. So it's the same as you use in the paddle brush, just that you get a little bit more bend in the end. You should just get the brush and just go over the crown just to really make sure I've got all that dry and smooth that through. brush underneath just to make sure I've got all that nice and dry.
Um, just another little tip as well, when you're brushing over the top like that, if you pop your brush onto your cool shot, that will just help, just set it a little bit because it will give it a little bit of air running through it. I'm just going to do that. So I'm just going to pop it onto cool shot and I'm just going to run over the top just to really get some cool air in it, just to set that. Okay, so we're on 15 minutes. So 15 minutes for the round brush blow dry. And it's just a nice sleek look. I'll just see if I can show you the back. Obviously a little bit of product through just always helps soften that a little bit, just make it look a bit more finished. But I'll just literally run over with the um, 30 mil barrels. I'm not, I don't want to, put too much curl in it because I want to keep it quite bouncy so I'm just going to put a few just light ones through just because it always feels a bit done again when you're looking in the mirror I'm going to use that one going that way so make sure your arrows are facing away from your head I'm just going to literally pick up a few random pieces not even going to like have them all going back I'm just going to be quite rough with them Kick those ends in slightly. I always think this just helps set it a little bit, and if you don't go too curly, then they just kind of just finish the ends off a little bit more. And being quite random, just bringing that under. A good way to get a little bit of height through the top if you just pick up your section, put your barrel in underneath and just pull it away in the hair like that that will really give that some bounce and then just let the end wrap round I'll just show you that in a minute you can see how much lift that gives that through that top part especially on the crown if you want to do that because that really helps give it some bounce Just switch barrels and I'll just do exactly the same on the other side. It just like I said, I, I like the sleekness of the round blow dry, but this just helps seal the ends a little bit. But I'm not necessarily putting a huge amount of curl. Quite good through the back. If you've struggled with the back, this will just help finish it off a bit for you. through that front. Okay, I'll just ruffle that up now. So we're on 19 minutes from start to finish, so I think it's such a quick, quick technique. Just make sure you give your air wrap a little breather between styling try not to have it on for longer than 15 minutes if you can help it um so i would just go and pop a little bit of uh philip kingsley polishing serum just through that and a tiny bit of paul mitchell freeze and shine hairspray and that'll be it for the day so yeah any questions just give me a shout